TCAP grade 7 practice test for math. Question number 39. The pictograph below shows the number of children in each age group who visited a zoo on Tuesday morning. Which graph best represents this information? Now there's a couple ways, of course, that you could go about this, and I'm going to zoom this thing in just a little bit so we can actually see the pictograph a little better. And then I'll move it up once we have everything that we need. The big issue here, uh, first off, is to look at the key. The key says that each picture of a child represents 10 children. So I can go ahead and um, count them up, put the numbers on the outside. That, may, my, that might make my life a little easier. Uh, the six, seven-year-olds, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So half of 10 would be five. So I have 75 kids. For eight, nine-year-olds, one, two, three, four, five, and five tens is 50. Uh, 10, 11 year olds, not many of those. One, two and a half, so two and a half would be 25. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Um, 12 to 13 year olds, so that would be 100. And if you forget, just do 10 times 10 on your calculator and write the number down. And if you do this, it will start to make your life much easier when you figure out the answers lower on the problem. So let's scroll down with our newly created little uh, graph there. And it should scroll the picture over top of it, which is a terrible location for it, I just realized. But nonetheless, I can move it over and rewrite it and then erase so I can see a little better. So I'm going to, my six, seven-year-olds, I've got 75, uh, a 50 of the eight to nines. Uh, 25 of my 10 11s and 12 to 13 I have a hundred sorry about my lousy writing I kinda my pen on my screens not working all that well today now what I'm gonna do is look to see if this is the case so let's just scout the problem a little bit before we do anything else for A, they're all the same. It says all of them are 25, so A is obviously not the correct answer, so mark that out. Uh, and now we're going to look to see, you'll notice, by the way, that the smallest one would be the 25 here. So we're going to look for one at 10, 11 that's really small. We'll see, answer C, has 10, 11 way up here at 100, so that can't be it. Um, in B, there's no 12 to 13 year old group at all. So that can't be it either. So the answer has to be D, but let's just check to make sure. In the 6, 7, H group, I expect 75, and that's exactly what I get. In the 8, 9 group, I should have 50. That's exactly what I get. At 10, 11, I get 25, so that's perfect. And in the last age group, the 12 to 13-year-olds, must have been a middle school field trip, 100. So perfect. That's exactly what we wanted it to be. And so our answer, of course, 2, number 39 is D.